world can believe in said magic TV. How you doing? This is Andre Maurice for Ed Magic TV, and I'm here with N Nautica. How you doing? I'm doing good, Andre. Wonderful. That's good. How did you enjoy the show tonight? I wonderful. I loved it. I thought it was great. You know, it's nice to have different kind of music, neo soul, a little bit of R&B, a little bit of gospel. I think it's always fabulous, and it's nice that people actually come out and just have a really good time and enjoy a free concert. Oh, okay. Well, you really did good. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. I try it. You know, they hire me as a host, and I have a really good time, and I, I, I'm just very blessed and very thankful that I'm on board. Okay. Do you host uh, all, the, all the shows? I, I Most likely I do. I host most of the shows here at the BH. CP Live, the, the summer concert series, and I know we're starting again back in January, so I'll definitely be here. I've been singing with Ndambi uh, for about a year now. So how do you like singing with Ndambi? Oh, I love it. We're here with Kamaria. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm, I'm wonderful. How long have you been singing? I began singing with Ndambi in February of 2009. So that means you love it? I love it. It's great. Well, how did you uh, come to work with Ndambi? Actually, the other background singer, Sarah Williams, she was in Oakland. We sing together. Sarah and I sing with Lettucey. We do a lot of background work together. And she said, and Dombey is coming to Oakland performing at Yoshi's. We need um, you on soprano. I said, okay, of course, I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm here with Kat Dyson. What inspires you? How, did you, you know, how do you get inspired? Um, well, you know, the music first. The music means everything. And um, when an artist like Ndombe gives me a call, her music is great, the way she writes, the way she thinks. The way we, you know, she performs. So I have to say yes, and it's you know always a joy. It was always fun. And how long have you all been working together? Um, she and I, I, I guess for at least a year or two. I mean, I was a fan. I'd just show up at her shows and just see her and told her, hey, you know, if you ever need a guitar player and your guitar player can't make it, give me a call. And and she finally did. So you know, it's been fun. But I was a fan of hers before even all that. Her music moved me, and and what she does and how she does it moved me so much so that you know. I was a fan, like I said before. Actually, I met her at a club in Hollywood. Uh, she went to see Cy Smith, and I went to hear her perform, and uh, through a mutual friend, a guitar player named uh, Eric Walls, introduced me because he played on Ndombi's record. And we exchanged information, and uh, she got a call to do a showcase for Universal. And she called me and said, you know, are you available? I said, sure, and that was our first time working together, and we've been working together ever since then. You know, to anybody just aspiring your dreams, just keep, you know, looking towards it and just keep working, and things will just happen after a while, for sure. I'm here with the most beautiful and mm -hmm. dominant. So how are you? I'm good, I'm good, very good. That's good. I saw your show it was really exceptional and wonderful. I love the crazy leg move. <laughs> I had a good time. I enjoy uh, performing, but I enjoy the energy that people give me, so I try to give it back in full form. Well, you definitely give off good energy. I said I couldn't leave. I had to use the restroom, and I wouldn't go because I stayed and watched the whole show because I'm really impressed just by your movement and just what you do. In your. So I, can I ask you, what inspired you to make you want uh, I like to write songs that, that help to inspire other people, and I like to support the dreams and visions of others. So I'm hopefully creating vignettes through the music that help to move people to be creative, to be inspired, to reach their dreams, to, to just try to do stuff that they might think they can't. Just I, I hope that that's what it's doing. Yeah. So that feeds me, and I'm hoping that I can give that back to people, and if they receive it, then they give it back to me. So it's all reciprocity. Okay, well, that sounds good. So I wanted to know, do you write, like, all your songs? Or do you have writers or what? I write most of the songs, but I do like to collaborate with people, and I've been collaborating with a lot of writers and music, but I'm, I'm, I'm open to collaboration. So. Okay, okay. I'd like to ask you, you did a song, I think, about uh, your, aunt, your auntie or something like that. I mean, can you tell us just a little piece of that? Um, yeah, I, that? that song is about my Aunt Eva, and she, I believe, lived a life that was full of strife because she lived to please other people and she never realized her own dreams. And in that process, I think that it caused her to live a short life. So I wrote a song in dedication to her called Lonely Woman. And it's a song to tr hopefully inspire people and, and, and help them to realize that life is what you make it. And it's up to you to decide what choices you want to make and how you want to live your life.
Yeah, well, I, I listened to the lyrics and I really, I really enjoyed it. It was another one I think you did about was it believing in yourself or something when people like try to tear you down. Insecurity. Insecurity. Can you just tell us just a pinch of that. Yeah, I, I wrote a song to inspire other people to continue to dream when other people, because I usually, I feel like you always run into someone who will discourage you from the thing that you want to go after because they're fearful of not accomplishing it for themselves. So sometimes instead of enjoying your success, misery loves company. So they would rather keep you in a place with them instead of tell you, encourage you to go forward. So I wrote a song about it called Insecurity. So it's, it's personal, right? Mm -hmm. It is very personal. It was inspired by something, a situation that happened to me when a friend of mine told me that I should quit doing music and get a regular job. And yeah, yeah. I heard you I heard you say that and then you moved to California. California, I right? I did. I moved to California and I decided to continue to do music. I'm inspired by my first of all my parents who are great singers in their own right. But I'm inspired by Nina Simone, a lot of a lot of male singers like Marvin Gaye, um, uh, Maurice White of all people because I, I think he's an amazing singer and he does a lot of cool arrangements and stuff. But I just enjoy every kind of singer like you know I don't have a specific type I like a lot of kind of music Mahalia Jackson uh, from that to you know a Drake I, I just like a lot of different kind of stuff who's to inspire like some of the uh, children or some people that been through what, what you you know going through what you've been through mm -hmm. like what would you say to the children or people that's pushing when they tell them to stop and uh, to give up on their dreams well I think that you always have to see the dream first always daydream continue to daydream and always as you daydream do things every day that makes one part of your dream come true and so always always surround yourself around positive people who say the same things that you do and encourage your dreams and to continue to like live them out loud do everything you can try everything one time you know, don't be afraid to, to, to fail, because in failing, you can always succeed. You only know if you try, so you always got to try.